The nonprofit Meissner Nordic Ski Club grooms nearly 40 kilometers of ski trails five days a week. The trail grooming work typically begins at four in the morning. It depends on the weather. You know, if it's snowing like this, it's usually nice to get done right before everyone's showing up. So coming in a little bit later is better, which would mean four or five in the morning. Uh, we usually try to be done by the time most of the folks are on the trails. The grooming machine simultaneously levels the ski trail, lays down tracks for classic cross-country skiing, and leaves behind a fresh layer of corduroy for skate skiing. We do need it flat. Uh, if people come across something, especially around a corner, a blind hill, and there's uneven tracks, they're going to lose it, they're going to get pushed into the woods, have to bail on the corner or something. Um, hopefully there's no other skiers coming the other direction, but yeah, we're just trying to make it as smooth and fast and fun as possible. We probably get somewhere between 500 and 1,000 skiers here every Saturday and Sunday that it's not storming and we have good snow conditions. Larry Katz says he is 10 years into a three-year term as treasurer and operations manager of the Meisner Nordic Ski Club Board of Directors. He says he volunteers as a way to give back. It's a great asset to the community in that nobody has to pay to ski here. It's public land. It's managed by Deschutes National Forest, obviously. And we have a, an agreement with the Forest Service that we will provide groomed trails for skiing. And so that's sort of our gift to the community is free skiing here. Kat says the nonprofit ski club pays Chris Bowman and Lev Stryker to groom the ski trails because they have professional experience operating expensive equipment. They reliably show up for the early morning shifts and they make good use of their time. Those are two dedicated guys and then they're backed up by a whole swarm of volunteers who enjoy skiing here and are willing to put in some hours on trail maintenance in the fall or keeping this lodge clean in the winter. Uh, so it, it's, it's a whole community of skiers makes this place run. In recent years, the Meissner Nordic Ski Club expanded the trail system, built a permanent lodge complete with tables and a wood stove, and worked with the Forest Service to expand the parking lot. It's not often that a nonprofit can run a surplus most years and at the same time raise enough money to buy a $190,000 piece of equipment to groom the trails. And when we bought that new grooming machine, I think our attendance here really took off and our financial support followed along with it. And it's the old premise that if you put out a good product and our product is groomed trails, then people will flock to it and use it. While there is no charge to ski at the Virginia Meissner Snow Park, the Ski Club accepts donations through their website and in a donation box near the lodge to underwrite their operating expenses. State-issued snow park permits are required to park in the parking lot. From the Virginia Meissner Snow Park, I'm Brooks Snavely for The Great Outdoors. <music>